This is Nate Story with Bright Agrotech, and today we're going to kick off the nutrient series with nitrogen. It's kind of uh, one of the most important nutrients in your aquaponic system. We're going to talk about it a little bit today. I'm not going to go into as much detail as I might with other nutrients because it's not always the main problem in aquaponic systems. In fact, in a lot of aquaponic systems, nitrogen is uh, probably the easiest nutrient to manage. You put in feed and you get nitrogen out. So uh, let's start talking about it. So nitrogen goes into our system in the form of protein, okay? This is the protein that's in our fish feed. We're not putting in nitrate, we're not putting in any other uh, chemical fertilizers, hopefully, to supplement nitrogen. It's all in the form of protein. So the protein goes in, and it goes into our fish, all right? The fish eat, the, eat this feed with the protein, and in their gut, they begin to break down that protein into um, well, the fish don't necessarily, but the uh, microbes in their gut do. And they break that protein down into amino acids, okay? These are, uh, these are, these are uh, compounds containing a lot of nitrogen that are used to make proteins, okay? So the proteins become amino acids and the microbes continue to break them down. And eventually those amino acids become ammonia or ammonium in, in our fish for the most part. Okay, and this is NH4+. Plus. Okay, so um, I should subscript this. So our, our ammonium is uh, being produced as we put protein into our system. Now this happens even without the fish. So if there's extra feed in the water, that feed is being broken down by microbes in your system to produce ammonium or ammonia, depending on the pH of your water. Now definitely check out the ammonium ammonia video that we have. Uh, we'll put a link of it at the end of this video. But it basically explains um, kind of the difference between ammonia and ammonium. Ammonium is NH4 and it has a charge, okay? So this is a polar molecule. That means it's, it's like a magnet. Part of it, uh, part of it has a charge. And um, it switches back and forth in the solution between ammonia which is NH3, okay? Ammonia doesn't have a charge, which is a bad thing. It means this ammonia can seep right back into our fish because there's, there's no charge, so the fish can't really keep it out of the body. So as it builds up in the water, uh, this ammonia has the ability to come back in and to poison our fish. So as ammonia is being produced in the system, we have a few different ways to deal with it. Now, um, switching your system pH so that it favors ammonium can definitely help. Ammonium is much less toxic to fish. Um, however, we don't always want to mess with our pH in response to the ammonia that we have. So pH is one solution, but it's not the best. The best solution is to actually convert ammonia or ammonium to nitrate. Now to do this, we've got to do a few different things. We've got to uh, We've got to provide the right habitat, we've got to provide enough oxygen and uh, the right temperatures and basically a nice stable environment for our nitrifying bacteria. And uh, what these nitrifiers then will do is they will convert this ammonia to nitrite, okay, which is uh, uh, NO2, and which is then converted into nitrate, NO3. Each of these reactions, both the conversion of ammonia to nitrites and nitrites to nitrates, is facilitated uh, by a different group of bacteria in our system. And uh, these are commonly referred to as our nitrifying bacteria. And uh, basically what they're doing is they're taking uh, first ammonia or ammonium and they are oxidizing it. So they're basically adding oxygen um, to this molecule and uh, what it ends up doing is uh, they end up getting energy out of it so they're they're uh, do performing this chemical reaction they're getting energy and they're using that energy to fix carbon so they're taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and they're using it for growth and development and uh, you know basically to do their thing so um, the first kind of group of bacteria uh, that's most commonly associated with this reaction right here is um, traditionally been Nitrosomonas. Okay, this has uh, traditionally been attributed to Nitrosomonas primarily. 
Now, what a lot of research is showing is this isn't necessarily true. Nitrosomonas is just kind of the easiest bacteria to find a lot of the time and to study. Um, there's lots of other nitrifiers out there, and your system could have hundreds, if not thousands, of different nitrifying species performing this reaction. So, uh, in reality, probably what we're looking at here is nitrosomonas plus lots of others. The second reaction is performed by a bacteria, uh, well, most commonly uh, attributed to a bacteria called Nitrobacter. Okay? Sure. Nitrobacter. And um, again, the same, the same thing applies. Nitrobacter is definitely probably doing this in a lot of systems, but there are lots of other bacteria as well that are doing the same thing. So, Never discount nature, never discount the complexity of the ecology that can develop inside of your system. So between all of these different bacteria operating inside of our system, we're able to take protein and through our fish and through our microbes and through this very complex ecology, get nitrate out at the end, which is n fairly non-toxic to our fish. We can run it up to really high uh, part values, parts per million. Uh, without really impacting our fish too much. Nitrite, again, is very poisonous, so we want to keep that um, very low in our system. But, you know, it's, it's kind of an amazing thing that we can have protein in and get nitrate out. Now, this is just the part, um, this is just a uh, an explanation of how the nitrogen is broken down in the system. In the next video, we're going to talk about what happens to nitrate once it's in the system, where does it go? And uh, we're also going to talk very briefly about this bacteria here because um, our nitrifying bacteria are very important. They happen to be kind of wimpy. Uh, they're very fragile, so we need to make sure that we're treating our bacteria right or we're not going to get the most important thing out of our system, and that is this oxidation reaction here of ammonia to nitrate. So stay tuned for our next video. We're going to talk about nitrifying bacteria and what happens to our nitrate once it's in the system. This is Nate Story with Bright Agritech. If you like our videos, please subscribe and uh, definitely check out our vertical food blog.